Today we are going to talk about planning your destination wedding and it's a little bit different than planning a normal wedding because there are a lot of factors that go into it. So I started to write a blog post all about this and I just figured it would just be better if I did a video and this way hopefully I can lay it all out in a better format by talking. I don't know. We're gonna go with it. For us, we first started talking about having a fall wedding here in Michigan. Fall is my favorite time of the year. The weather, the clothing, the decorations, literally everything that like goes into fall is just my favorite here in Michigan. So after we started looking at a couple different venues and realized that our budget would take up the venue, the food, and the booze alone, and we couldn't even fathom thinking about buying a dress, doing flowers, transportation, videographer, a photographer, gifts, just shout, like everything combined, we knew personally we could not afford that. Once you've decided that you want to do a destination wedding, the first thing for us was where. <laughs> Now, if you don't know our history, we have two small kids, so they are four and a half and two right now. So for us, we knew that we did want to go somewhere warm. We knew that we didn't want the flight to be really far because with two small kids, it's just hell. And we knew that it needed to be out of the U.S. because if you're going to do a destination wedding and you're trying to do it, I guess, like on a budget, Having it still in the States is not really saving money. So what I did first was honestly, I went into a Facebook mom group that I'm on and I asked the question, anyone have a destination wedding? If so, leave the resort you had below. So what I did, really old school, I wrote them down in my notebook. And then I started doing like check marks next to the ones that more than one person in the comment section commented yes to or that they got married there. I then went through to all of these locations and looked if they were kid friendly. There's really no way around it. You can plan it yourself, but it's just really easier to go through the travel agency. They take care of all the like terms and conditions and they're like the middleman and I can tell them A, B, and C and they know right off the bat if that's gonna work or not. So Jarek, I'm pretty sure just went on Google and typed in like travel agent, destination wedding. I don't know what he did. He found the travel agent. Then I ended up talking to her, told her all of our needs and wants, told her um, the location that we were looking at. She said, cool. She emailed them. They then sent me and her all the information. I have since kept all the information that I've ever gotten from any vendors, um, the resort, uh, emails from everyone, just in this folder. Some of the questions that we asked, how many beds um, does each room have, like are they clean, king? Skylar is going to be under three at the time, so I just asked like how much are kids for different ages because obviously a 12 year old is still a child and so is a three year old, but a 12 year old is going to eat a hell of a lot more than a three year old. So I asked that, I asked if we get an upgrade because we are the bride and groom. I asked the differences in rooms, the different amenities. I asked about deposits, uh, are they refundable, do you have insurance, how many people had to book for us to get like the group right. All these questions were answered. Then I also asked um, if there was a discount or upgrade or special on if we book our wedding there as well as our stay because I do know that some people have weddings at certain resorts places but then they end up staying like a resort over because it's cheaper. I had all these different questions laid out. She sent me answers to everything. The travel agent was awesome and she answered all my questions. Basically I have this notebook and I have this folder and all the information is in here. After we picked our resort we then had to tell our family that our plans were not to get married here in Michigan and we were going to be really difficult and go to Mexico. I'm sure it hurt some family's feelings and I don't mean to hurt family's feelings but I think they were just like, ah, this is kind of stressful, like we can't afford that. So what we did and what we decided to do, we are going to have a preception wedding 
party at my mom's house. So my mom has a really awesome backyard and we invited them over to partake in basically a wedding shower and like reception. This gives all the family members, all the friends that can't come to the wedding in Mexico to my mom's house to celebrate us, to celebrate the wedding. A lot of people might think that I am crazy. I want it to be less stressful, but I'm planning two parties, which I have to tell you, it has been so fun to plan, less stress because I have two parties and different needs, but like I have a September function and I don't have to plan anything for the wedding literally until two months before. I don't pick out food, I don't pick out flowers, I don't pick out anything until like a month or two before because they're all on a different time frame. Like they do things kind of like just in time. So this was way different. Then I put together a like FAQ sheet and I sent that with the email as well and basically any questions that I asked the travel agent or I asked the resort manager, I put in a Word document and had all the answers here. That way it was so simple, people did not have to blow up my phone and like, how much is it going to be? How many nights do we have to stay? Is it all inclusive? Can I bring my kids? How much is airfare? Yada, yada, yada. Everything was laid out and honestly, I think I only had like maybe one or two people ask me questions and they were like legit questions, so no hard feelings. Other things you have to think about when you have a destination wedding is uh, the officiant. Um, they included one there, however, I don't want some random officiant marrying us. So we are actually going to ask some family members to do the vow, like do the ceremony, which I'm really excited about. We haven't asked these people yet, so if you're watching, you might be one of them. We shall see. We shall see. Also, we researched the marriage requirements there. So if we wanted to be legally married in Mexico, we'd have to get like a blood test done, make sure we're not like brother and sister, like weird stuff. Well, obviously we don't care if we're married in Mexico. So we have to technically get married here beforehand at the courthouse, like do all the paperwork. And then they will have a symbolic ceremony there for us. So that's how that's planned out. I think it's like $30 to get married here, something like that. I don't know. I gotta look into that still. Since we decided to do a party here in Michigan in the fall, I did do invitations for that. I did a whole blog post on our invitations for the preception. I'll leave that down below and you can kind of take a look at what they looked like, how I saved money, and little DIYs that I did. So the other questions I had were photos, hair, makeup, video, and like the wedding reception. The photos, video, hair, and makeup can all be purchased there by different uh, people. I knew that I am going to be doing my hair and my makeup myself because I like how I do my own hair and makeup for events, like occasions. Um, photos, I had planned on using um, one of the uh, companies there that I got the recommendation from the mom and the mom group that I'm in because she had her wedding there. So as you know, um, our one of our really good friends, Jenny, is our photographer that we use for like any family photos, engagement photos, and she's like one of my great friends. And she's a photographer, and I didn't want to ask her before I knew if she was coming to Mexico because. I didn't want it to be a burden. Like, if she couldn't go to Mexico, but then I asked her to do the photos, it's almost like, ugh, I can't really go, but I'll go to do your photos. So she actually asked me if I had found anyone yet, and she would love to do them. So I was just like, oh, praise the Lord, I'm so excited. Because we love Jenny, we love her work, and ultimately, that's the person I wanted to shoot my wedding. I didn't want to have to do someone in Mexico, but I didn't want to like put her on the spot. So she had already said she was coming to Mexico. Then she asked if I had anyone, so it was like, ah! Jenny from Monroe Fox Photography will be our photographer. As for video, you know I'm obsessed with videos. I just shot a wedding video in Chicago. I think videos for your wedding are so important. I don't know what I'm gonna do to be honest. I feel like I will probably be capturing a lot of it and like walking around and we'll be there the whole week 
and I'm going to probably give some people their um, this camera which is my Canon um, Rebel T3i and hopefully they can kind of get whatever they can get I'm not gonna be too picky I'll edit it it'll be great as long as I have something I'll be fine but I don't want to pay someone <laughs> like that's not in Mexico I just I just don't know if someone's worked there and like I don't know it stresses me out Um, as for the ceremony, the ceremony is actually included since we booked X amount of rooms. So then we will be paying for a reception dinner afterwards for I think like 25 to 30 people will be coming. So we'll have hors d'oeuvres before, we'll have the main dinner, and then we'll have a cake. Um, I am going to be bringing a whole suitcase worth of like, um, like signs, decorations, um, fake flowers that I will have um, probably a hair thing like I'm bringing a whole suitcase of decorations and stuff that I'm gonna have there depending on the package that you get for the actual wedding it includes like your choice of flower your choice of this and that but I just don't really love any of the choices that they have there so we will be there three days before I think Saturday Sunday Monday yeah we're getting married on a Tuesday um. I just wanted to say that so bad. So, you know. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that has answered a ton of different questions. Like I said, I'm literally not planning any of the wedding right now because I don't need to plan any of it until like into 2016. So it has been so easy. So everyone's like, how's wedding planning going? I'm like, it's going great. I haven't done shit. <laughs> But I have been planning the perception and I am going to be doing a whole video, possibly two videos on that of um, timeline and how I've been doing it. Like I said, as for things that have kept me organized, I have a wedding folder. I have just a normal little like um, notebook from Target. Then I also have my planner and this is a new one I just got from Target. I hope this is giving you a little insight of how I kind of have been planning it. And like I've said, it's been really stressful. I'm not going to lie. Like, I have had deadlines to get things done and I'm just like, check, check, check. Like, it's been so easy and so enjoyable and I think that's how wedding planning should really be. I was so stressed out trying to plan a wedding here in Michigan and with our budget and us paying for everything. It was just not fun. I was crying all the time. I was upset. All I talked about was like, I just want to have another baby. I don't want to get married. <laughs> I was a lunatic. I mean, I still am. I still just want to have another baby. But I'm so excited to get married to Jarek and so excited to go on a family vacation together. Like, can it be April? Please. Stay tuned for the upcoming wedding videos because I kind of like doing a video as well as doing blog posts. It mixes things up. It keeps it fresh. And I like talking. And I got a new camera, guys. I mean, we gotta use it, right? Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time for Wedding Wednesday. Bye!